This is the Affery P210 2400 watt 2048 watt hour portable power station. And we want to thank Affery for sending us this power station to try out. First of all, we have to say that in the past we've been pretty loyal to another brand. However, this is our first Affery and I've got to say we found it very impressive because the other brand that we tend to use a lot more, we've got a 2500 watt power bank, only a hundred more than this one, and this is half the size. So there are some real positives to this one because the weight is much, much less and the size is half of another competitor's brand, 2,500 watt power bank. Now, what you can find on the front here, as usual, you've got actually on here only two USBs there, but you've actually got four USB-Cs and you've actually got three 20 watt ones and one 100 watt one. So that is very useful because most things, as you know these days, are increasingly coming with these. There is a light on the front, as always, but this one, when you press it again, it flashes. There you are, turn that off. This is your on-off button. Um, the only thing I'd say about that is that quite often I reach down to turn it on and press that. These are too similar. So I would like to see perhaps that as a circle. But anyway, that is a really small complaint. One thing I do love is the huge big screen. It's very clear, 100% and then a visual display there. It tells you the output watts. Well, at the moment I've got nothing plugged in and with nothing plugged in, it's telling me it's got 99 hours left if I left it turned on, which obviously it's running the screen. Uh, Moverability, these handles. Now, even I can manage this particular power bank. It is very, very good. It does have overload protection. And here's where you plug it in. So it's normal kettle lead to charge it, or this is for your solar. We've been charging it on solar today. So it went out this morning, we've had full sun, the solar panels were bringing in about 240 and it's on 100 now. So we've actually fully charged this today, just the power of the sun. So it does work with solar panels and it works very well. Um, it doesn't have super fast charging, but I would say it's definitely acceptable. It's not bad charging at all. Another thing, um, if you notice on the top, a lot of power banks have where you can put your phone and you can just do charging. This one actually has a container, so you can put your leads in there. I like that. That is quite cool. And round here, you have three household plug sockets. Uh, it has a fan. It's not particularly noisy. What I'm going to do is get the hairdryer out in a minute and show you it in, in action. Um, but yeah, some of them only have two, so this is quite nice actually to have three, although I can't particularly see a time where I'd be using three all at once. Um, although very often I do use this particular power bank for making coffee with a coffee maker and I'm running the air fryer to do the breakfast. So this power bank will take that. So when we're using power banks, this particular power bank will pretty much run anything in the van. So you, like I said, the coffee maker, that's very, very power hungry. Uh, the, my electric saucepan, the air fryer. So those are the, tend to be the usual things and perhaps my hair straighteners. And of course the Starlink, we run through this a lot. Uh, but the most power hungry thing is this, my hair dryer. And uh, that will trip quite a few of our power banks. So I'm gonna show you how it works with this one. Okay, so let's just take the, the flap down. So there we go, 100% power hungry hair dryer, and let's plug it in round the side. Okay, that's plugged in. Uh, what you've got to remember to do is there's a button here that you need to press 
and it will... Ah! Haven't turned it off! There we go! So we've got the settings on there. So that is low speed, so let's turn the speed up and you can have a look at the output there. And let's put the heat on, high. that would have been a quick blow dry. What was that? Probably less than a minute there. So I don't know how long you blow dry your hair for, but as you can see, it's settling itself back down, recalibrating what it's doing. There is still a little bit of uh, charge coming through the wire. So if I turn that off, there you go, that stopped. So yeah, watch that when you're, uh, you've got an appliance plugged in, there will always be a sort of little trickle charge through the wire. So there we go. Still on 99%. Um, so, you know, you can blow dry your hair for 10 minutes and you might only lose 10%. And that is probably the most power hungry item we've got apart from the coffee machine, which pulls about a similar amount to be perfectly honest. Uh, this isn't a travel hairdryer either. This is a household hairdryer. He's, it's broken as well on the end. Yeah, so, are we impressed? Uh, yeah, we are impressed. We are impressed. i tell you one thing it is missing. It does not have an app. Whereas our other power banks from another company do have an app. Um, and we do find that quite useful because if we are sitting and we've got it charging with the solar, Redis connects it to his phone and he can have a look uh, wirelessly and see how those power banks are doing. Um, saying that, to be perfectly honest, the display is so big, you would never miss it anyway. Um, but yeah, it means that if we have to turn it off in the night, we have to get out of bed and physically turn it off, whereas actually with uh, the app, on other power banks, we can just uh, turn it off remotely. Um, the best thing is the size and the weight, without a doubt. The performance, to be honest, compared to what we've already got is very, very similar. Um, like I said, the others we have do have apps, so they perhaps have, and they have chargers on the top. So this is perhaps slightly, it's taken away a couple of the fancy items, but I don't think that's a huge problem to be perfectly honest, because you're getting a fraction of the weight. Great, because obviously you've got to be careful what you're carrying and it's very portable. I can carry it no problem at all. And its actual physical size is half the size of other power banks of the same output so yeah once again we want to say thank you very much to Afari for sending this to try out and uh, we really appreciate it so if you are interested in one of these power banks please have a look in the description and you will be able to see uh, the details and uh, the offers that are available at the moment with AFRI.